Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Welcome to the Think Bamboo podcast here. I'm your host, JJ, and today we're here with Johan Granberg from, uh, or located in Qatar and Kenya. Um, thank you a lot for um, being here, Johan. Thank you so much for having me. It's it's exciting. I, I've seen this channel growing, and, and it's, it's really a good job you're doing. So, so I'm really... It, Thrilled and well, happy that I was inv 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 invited to to be here this morning. It's morning well, for me. You. I don't know when you when you see this, but it's morning for us. Yeah, it's morning for us. But today we're here to talk about about your or one of your super interesting projects, which is um, the movie you did, um, the Bamboo Dialogues, and um, the other movie you're working on. So you're almost done with the sequel of that movie. And oh, sorry. I. I'm just going to correct you that so people, yeah, yeah. people do get confused. The first one <laughs> called Bamboo, the tradition of the future. It's been out now uh, for three years. We have during these three years hard work on, on another project, which we call the Bamboo Dialogues. And it, it's finished and out to, to uh, uh, film festivals right now, just three weeks ago. So, yeah. Um, wow. The, so lots of work, I imagine. I mean, movie making is like really tough job. It's not like just taking photos. <laughs> and the thing there is, which is super interesting, is it's 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 a nonprofit and it's crowdsources. So basically, you've taken the best out of the the internet and you've produced something with it on a super super um, relevant and and uh, important uh, topic, which is to help understand bamboo better which is one of the uh, most uh, less understood topics probably right now. So uh, there is a lot of uh, need for it. And um, yeah, let's let's dig into, into this. But first of all, um, I'd like to um, have our, our viewers understand a little bit more where you come from, what's your journey. Um, tell us a little bit about you. I mean, you have like this interesting uh, background that you live or you work in Qatar and you, and you live in, in Kenya. And um, you work at the university as a um, professor for yeah. architecture or, or something like that? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm in interior design, but I am a, an architect by, by trade or, or education. Uh, I'm, it, it's interesting because I, I think we have, the, 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 when, when you sit down with people in the bamboo community, which is growing, you, you have almost this origin story of when you met with this material. And, and so I'm, I'm, I'm hacking along in Sweden where I'm, I'm native from Sweden. And, and I started to get uh, international uh, invitations. So I started to kind of travel around with my, with my job, which kind of was a plan in the beginning. I, I uh, educated myself to a chemical engineer and realized that I can't really travel with this, this profession. So that was one of the reasons why I, I kind of saddled, uh, saddled uh, another horse and, and, and rolled out, right? I mean, totally yeah. different from chemical to, to architecture to that's and, and now movies? Not, not really, and, and, but, but that's a longer discussion. Chemical okay, engineering okay. is really an, a part of an, a very small scale architecture. And, and the world is built <laughs> up through, a, a, so it, it, it starts, the, the 3D interest or the kind of spatial interest that, that an architect has exists mm -hmm. in the smaller, smaller world okay. as well. So it's, it's okay. everything is linked uh, in my career, although it wasn't planned. Right. Uh, and and, and in, in, in a way, so, so we, we're, we're talking about me trying to figure out who I am in the world. And, and I started to get um, invitations from schools and teaching and coming back as an as a profession to, to a, an environment as a university is such an accelerating experience. And it's, it keeps you, uh, although not embodied, heart young, right? Because you always talk to people that have a, a burning interest in the subject matter. So I, so imagine. I, I, uh, I, I, felt, I felt I could kind of, my passion for, for being an architect and, and also doing what I'm doing, I can copy that. Uh, in, in the school environment. Uh, so I found myself without a job and two independent, two friends of mine found these posts that they said, you should go for it. 
and, and with that encouragement, I went for a position in Papua New Guinea. Uh, wow. Very few people have been visiting and, and even fewer has been teaching architecture in the school. And in that stint, uh, and, and I, I, I can remember the minute when this came up, I said, we were sitting having this conversation in the, in the tea room. We call it coffee room in Sweden, but the tea room okay. and the British system, right? Where a professor in the school has a tendency to complain. We all complain as human beings, and, and but it, it's kind of three things we like to complain about. First, of, first uh, thing is kind of related. We're not appreciated as we should have been. Uh, we, we also are underfunded. In Papua New Guinea, that was really true. We, we, we had okay. a shoestring <laughs> of a budget. Uh, and and um, and our student is not as good as we are, or where we were as students. I mean, this this for for professor, you if if you see this, it's not it's it's coming from the heart. But this is how we speak when students are classic. Like, yes, I imagine. And, and so so we're so I'm looking at. I'm kind of not interested in this conversation. I'm drifting away, and I'm I'm looking out in the campus in in. In Lay in uh, Unitech. And it's a just beautiful campus, big rain trees. I also had a, a, a wood wood uh, factory on the campus. Mm, and okay. then we had bamboo in, in abundance. So I'm thinking, these are not really a problem. It's our problem, but we, we could potentially turn it around. And when I asked my students, who, who of you had built houses in Sweden and in America, when I asked that question, maybe four or five in a class of 30 has, has been out in the construction site for the young architecture students. In Papua New Guinea, it was two thirds that had built houses. And if, if that's not the resource, and, and if not, you know what I'm saying? It's like yeah, yeah. resources is where we find them rather than what we think we should have, right? Mm -hmm. and yes, we didn't have power all the days, so computing was hard, but we had technical skill in, in the facility. We had this beautiful campus. I had bamboo for free. So I started to build in bamboo, which led uh, a little bit later to a, a conference uh, uh, in 2008, a workshop conference we, we called uh, On Bamboo 2008 or 08, which was a, a very innovative name. But and that was there or somewhere else? It was in Papua New Guinea. And my idea was to, to combine architect, artists, and engineers with our students. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And so for a week, for a week, I invited, and, and this, this is how it goes. I mean, you invite a couple of friends, and then other friends talks along, and all of a sudden you had. Uh, 11 international uh, architect, engineers, and, and artists coming into Papua New Guinea on their own budget. We also wow. cut it, so it was a conference, serious conference, so they could get funding from their schools. And and so we did a workshop for, for one week. The rest one week, so that's long. I mean, wow. Yeah, that was my, I mean, we had a week with the students. So, so I said, if you come to Papua New Guinea, I can't give you anything. If you hard floors to sleep on, now we arranged it, it was bed for everybody. But hard floors to sleep yeah. on and uh, an, an adventure of your lifetime. And, and, I imagine. <laughs> and, and, and that worked, right? And it worked so good. So the result was not only, uh, it was a film made, a small uh, uh, documentary film that I, I can't find, done by three student from RMIT. Uh, it was a, an exhibition in Melbourne in RMIT after that. And the mm -hmm. year after, um, um, Architecture Association in London, uh, the, the school had a, a follow-up conference, mm -hmm. uh, which is not a bad result for a little, you know, little school in Papua New Guinea. And my students were thrilled to, to spread, to spread the, the message, right? Uh, yeah. I think we were a little early because I don't think the interest for bamboo in, in, in outside bamboo cultures was, was there yet. I remember Probably also geopolitics was not where it was today. Yeah. 
<laughs> but on a, on a positive side, maybe now it's it's more like we're more on time right now than back then. But somebody has to be early, so yeah. uh, you paved the way there. there and uh, well, well, I mean, the, the the interest was there. I, I don't think the in, interest, and this is something I think we can talk about and why we're doing this movie. Is I think interest mm -hmm. is good, knowledge is better, and interest and Absolutely. knowledge is. Is where we get together, right? Yeah, yeah, and, exactly. And, and I think it was a lot of people very interested. They did a lot of mistakes, and they did mistakes by themselves. And these yeah. mistakes, we're not very good at, at, you know, trumpet out our mistakes for the world. But we need to. We need yeah, to we know need. that Bamba have shortcomings because the next person going to do the same thing, right? Absolutely. And, and learning by mistakes is actually one of the best options because you have the experience then you know oh back then this didn't work because of that and that and so the next time i'll do it better right yeah. ideally <laughs> i mean the, the, the best people i know the craftsmen and engineers and, and architects is, is people that not only acknowledge their mistakes but don't get shut down because the first initial sketch didn't, didn't work right but yeah, i mean yeah. and and uh, I, I think that's a there's a human kind of of laziness in in that absolutely uh, which which i think we can overbridge by by coming together and say hey what mistakes did you do and then go mm -hmm. from there right but yeah. i think Bam the bamboo community doesn't really have that and had when i say had that we didn't really have that connection then mm -hmm. uh, yeah and everything was very early then it still is right now it's, it's a bit bigger it's early. moving yeah. But we're still very early. Um, there is more visibility, of course. Um, there are more books now. Thanks to you, there will be two movies, um, which is, um, I think, very important because everything is, is over videos now, even more for this new generation. Um, they love um, uh, moving images, right? TikTok is on the rise and, and, and YouTube is really has never been that big like today. So um, information is being absorbed by moving images or, or, or movies. So I really uh, think it, it's very important that um, you produce those movies. Um, it's really going to help uh, on the long term. Now we just have to create more visibility for the movies. And that's what we're doing right now. We're talking about this uh, bamboo movie. The first one is, is already available, right? It's, it's on YouTube. It has over 1 million views. I mean, I mean, that's, that's something, you know, for a movie where there's nobody dancing, nobody uh, running around half naked, or, I mean, <laughs> it, it's one million people really interested into the subject. Um, it's, it's, it's been a little bit overwhelming. The reason why we started to do movies, we talked about this before we started with the podcast, is I, I'm working with an anthropologist, uh, which is not so apparent in the first movie, but in the second movie, we, we're trying to kind of use both our superpowers in the in the script. Cool. So Jail and, and and myself, we started to uh, well, we were in the favela in, in Rio de Janeiro and and produced our first movie. It took a long, long time, and movie takes more time than you think uh, if you want to do quality, high quality movies. That yeah. In, uh, I'm, I'm not. Uh, I'm not looking down to people that go out with a camera, shoot a, 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 a reel in front of something because it's also very important, uh, especially for, for for issues that hasn't really been spread, right? But it's a different format. Yeah, but if you want to have something that kind of can become a staple in the in the community you talk to, you need to kind of check the facts. You need to have the sound perfectly working. Uh, the, the people you interview should be relevant, but also uh, yes. being being questioned, right? So, we, yeah. and 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 that takes time. And then the technical yeah. aspect of things to get things look beautiful takes time Absolutely. as well. As an artist, Absolutely, that that's something that I I strive for. I'm not there yet. I'm not I'm not feeling right uh, right now. I'm feeling like I'm uh, architecture. Yes, teaching. Yes, it, it it's cool. I'm, but but movie making, I'm still very new to this after after nine years of. of, of yeah. No, I mean it, it, the movie making is is I mean a lot of people have really no idea. Like for a good photo, you can plan like for a week, you know, and that's just one still image. Now now we have how is it twenty four images or how many images per second in a movie? 
yeah. um, something like that, right? Yeah. Depending what format or whatever. But I mean, this is like, <laughs> it's so much information to get it really beautiful, to get the content relevant, to get it engaging. Um, I know, I know. I've I've had a friend doing um, it was a but that was a um, like a, a music video. It was like three minutes, and he worked for it like six months. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's not unheard of. Uh, yeah. So, so it, it's it's we have this beautiful media, and and because movies now have been, uh, it, it it it's easier to shoot. It's simpler to shoot, and it's it's mm -hmm. also it's almost uh, the, what used to be quite expensive and, and, and cumbersome was also to get the movie out, right? Absolutely, yeah. Before have, YouTube and the internet. <laughs> now, now it, so all all aspect of movie making has been simplified, but that doesn't mean that you can it's do it easier. overnight, right? Exactly. You still have to have the quality, the content, and then get the visibility out. And, and your approach with the... Um, um, where you show the movies or release them is seems like an interesting approach. It's maybe an old school approach, <laughs> but it, it's a good one, right? I mean, it, it seems to work. <laughs> so we, 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 um, I think that now we're coming into why do movies about bamboo, and 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 this is the time I I always do this in my lectures and and when, when talking about my one of my biggest hero when I grew up and and. The reason why I went into chemistry uh, in the first place was that Jacques Cousteau was my hero. Uh, the and, French, uh, what was it? He was a, a submarine um, or marine, um, uh, what is it, uh, like I, specialist? I, I, yeah, yeah. Or... I, I mean, we, we can criticize him now because he didn't really have the knowledge, but nobody had the knowledge. So it's a, pioneer, right? Well, he was a pioneer. So, so he did... Uh, but but what he did was that not only was he part of inventing scuba diving as as a form, but he understood that if people, uh, in order for, for for him to share his love for the ocean, which nobody can really get into if you don't buy expensive shoes, scuba gear, get get uh, a license deep and, uh, deep down, <laughs> so it's for, not for everybody, but. It's extremely important for our planet to have a healthy ocean. So Absolutely. What, what he did, he started to produce films. And these films uh, came into our living room through through TV series when I was young. Almost almost to that degree that I could, when I did school by first time, I could hear the music from, from the from the, <laughs> from the movie. Yeah, yeah. Um, but he cool. brought something uh, very 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 hard to catch or, or or travel to he brought it into our living room right mm -hmm. and, yeah. and through his uh his films we we also fell in love with the ocean you mm -hmm. might not have been in the ocean but but you still yes. have this understanding that we need to protect our oceans right mm -hmm. and, Absolutely. And, and he is the pioneer for that and and i feel a little bit like it's the same with bamboo bamboo is this and I'm going to quote one of our executive producers, Neil Thomas. It's it's, it's a little bit like a, a, a thick secret. The people that know it knows it well, but but not everybody knows it. And it's not, not everybody. And, it, and it's not yeah. in your in your, you know, you you might go to Bali and you see the beautiful things that it's built in in Bali, but that's tourism. It Absolutely, never, it's not really... reality for everybody. It's, it's it's a very small universe, which is absolutely beautiful and and mesmerizing and everything. But the world is very big, and there is much more need for for a sustainable regenerative bamboo solution everywhere, almost. So, so <laughs> the idea with film was to to take that Bali experience, give mm -hmm. people that in a context which is not traveling to Bali. Traveling. So the next experience after meeting the Green School, which is a beautiful and and and, and, and very innovative uh, structure, uh, absolutely, it, it's the beach, right? So you go from the beach to the so it's become and but if you say that you now are an architecture student or engineering student or even somebody that wants to do something in the backyard, uh, this for example, film, this yeah. film should work, and mm -hmm. and and. And if it's just if you just want to relax and see a good documentary, it should work as well, right? So we've been trying to, uh, and, and I think you see in both of the movies, 
the first yeah. move is, is really a, a kind of scratch on the surface. Talk a little bit about what Bamboo uh, is. Absolutely. The but it was made during the, the COVID um, pandemic, right? So you had like a lot of restrictions for it being the first movie. Uh, no, we, we just finished it during COVID. <laughs> you finished it during COVID? Wow. No, it, it, was, it was out a couple of months before COVID. Uh, okay, okay. And, and, but, but COVID brought another thing, the crowdsourced material. It's easy, it was easy during COVID. I could get access mm. to people. All of a sudden, people sitting in the living room at home and, and say, I don't have anybody to talk to. So when I reached out to people, Everybody was willing to to kind of ship oh. in, right? Yeah, uh, cool. So it was and, positive in in this uh, yeah aspect. Yeah, if if, yeah. We, if we find anything positive, it was that it was easier to network in a way, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, Thanks uh, to technology and 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 uh, people being <laughs> inside confined. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. and and somehow also it was easier for me to let go of my ego. Uh, when it comes to as a filmmaker or us as a filmmaker, that's the whole team. We said we don't need to shoot everything. We didn't. We don't need to record. We can get thanks to Brian Erickson, which uh, sits on a, on a treasure trove of bending his own bamboo. A, a couple of shots from an iPhone, and, and and then we produce something with it. Does it have? And, and I'm I'm sorry, Brian, if you listen. Does it have the filmatic quality of? Of shooting something with a camera that costs over 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 a certain a of, no, yeah. it doesn't. But does it have the content value that that we want to show? Yes, more than mm -hmm. I could do because I cannot reach out to all these people, right? So, absolutely, so, absolutely. Yeah. So, so and and they're like a, like a gazillion of shots, even in the first movie, right? Do you have like numbers there? How many? How much content did you? Something you can share? I mean, just from my perception, I was like... We, we've been like... probably talking about the ratio to 1 to 20 of, of minutes to what, what you need to shoot, right? So you, yeah. for every, every minute you see is 20 minutes wasted because I, I, I'm going to fly a, a word around here, which is in film, but it makes a lot of sense if you understand it. Miss and send, which means what belongs to the scene. And mm -hmm. film... You can really not lie with images, and 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 one good example is this uh, historic movie that that a uh, uh, modern uh, watch has shown up in, destroy the narrative. It, it it's similar in, in documentary. If the if the images doesn't correlate with the script, mm -hmm. it destroy it it destroy the narrative, right? And even yeah. if you don't understand that, if you, if you have it in your stomach, it's like, no, it these images we need to change them, right? So, mm -hmm. so, yeah, it's a lot of images that we use. And in the first movie, we started a little loosely by, by doing um, interviews, having uh, interviews set up by schools and, and, and then send the materials. So there was, and, and, and now we could do this. So, so uh, I, I, I hate to, to mention names because it feels we have so many to thank, but we we have University of Pittsburgh. We have Virginia Tech. Uh, we have University of Hong Kong that that hire crews to to shoot interviews and footage, right? Wow. Okay. So, so, so you had very strong working with other universities, oh, which yeah. is amazing. I can imagine, like a lot of positive energy, people wanting to do stuff, being eager to learn about it, and 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 and. Uh, I, I think this is something that I, I learned yesterday. And for, for a filmmaker looking at the video, now you're going to see that the color correction doesn't work all the time. There's a little bit of uh, skipping and, and quality doesn't really hang in all the time. But is the content, does people understand the message? And I think, yes. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that became a different role for me as a, as a director. It's like, Finding the footage, make the footage work together with other footage, maybe reshoot some of, of the footage we had in, in our studio so we can kind of uh, complement with, with, with the footage. So, so it's, it's all exciting because it, it was a different way to make film. And, 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 and this was like your first movie or, or film? 
or or did you do other movies before as yeah. director let's say or we have done four movies so far uh, which is not an impressive number but if we are we are two uh, and and Byron Aldo he is a he is a, a very competent uh, sociologist has no skill behind the camera so it's me shooting the most of the thing wow, uh, wow. but but so so we have done four movies two, one is the uh, Living in the above, which is about this beautiful little favela in, in Rio de Janeiro. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a, an, an artist's uh, portrait that I did for an exhibition, uh, Thomas Modine. Mm -hmm. and, and then COVID hit and we, we, were, we were kind of low in production. And what was supposed to be three short movies about who has now turned on to one short movie and then one full feature. Because during COVID, we collect the material, we wrote on the script, and we didn't have the opportunity to finish all of it. And then when I started to cut uh, the movie, it, it it just flew as as a full feature film. It it's, it wasn't really worth to 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 make uh, too short. Yeah, and it's it's yeah. it also should be mentioned. It's not the film I wanted to do. Uh, the film I wanted to That's do is still that if we start that now, which which was the in between this movie, so we kind of had to. Press up the the maybe this movie the last movie has a lot of it 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 relies on a lot of experts people mm -hmm. in engineers and architects and product designers uh, botanists that that talks about bamboo the movie that I also hope to do is is the movie that relay a lot of ha uh, craftsmen people that works with bamboo they can talk about what bamboo do. But when so that's a difference, right? One is more like the, the theory and the other is like the making, yeah. which does not always match either, right? Because <laughs> uh, so yeah, I mean and, and we I think we talked about this early on on uh, which which can't I come to let, let me let, let me circle around that question a little bit. One yes. one of the problems bamboo has is the constant comparison with steel. Now yeah. we cannot compare. We cannot not compare it with steel because steel is our our go-to materials for building houses. So even if you maybe have, we we have to include sorry the word like a lot of, like in buzz is like the green steel or stuff like that. Like bamboo is called in the media, which doesn't really understand bamboo either. But whatever they call it, green steel. So this is maybe like the. The intro to what you're going to explain right now. Yeah, yeah, it's in, in vegetable, vegetable steel as well vegetable as other uh, yeah. kind of popular well, term. And exactly. It, and it, it's not bad, but but it's it's what we do is we have a very rich tradition of building with bamboo uh, in in a in a local context where where we had a lot of skills doing that, and we have a lot of mm -hmm. bamboo. And then we have an industrial world that, that we need to understand what happened. We, we, we're not anymore uh, in, in that era where, where people can gather things around the backyard and build houses. Yeah. No. And all, I mean, we should, we should probably strive to do that more, but yeah. we have the, the kind of industrial revolution happen and that changed our mindset of what materiality is, of where mm -hmm. we source our material. Uh, so, so we have steel and concrete, and then we have bamboo, which has amazing properties, but they're not steel and concrete properties. Exactly. And 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 because they're not steel and properties, uh, uh, they're not properties from 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 steel and concrete. We're gonna be disappointed when we use them as they were. Absolutely. Instead of looking at these materials from from everything it. It can do different. another perspective, right? Because it's different. Yeah, and <laughs> and I I like to go back to the early days of steel and say why we shouldn't we, we shouldn't compare this to 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 steel so eagerly. I mean, it's mm -hmm. good to, to talk about the steel's durability and stuff, but it wasn't always the case, right? Steel rusted. We didn't say we can't build in steel because it rusts. We, we, we found methods to prevent steel to, to rust, right? 
Yeah. And then we found out, hmm, steel is not very good at fire. It crumbles very easily in heat. We yeah. didn't stop building steel buildings because, of that. because it crumbled. Yeah. We start to develop things that protected the steel, right? Mm -hmm. And then we found out that, yeah, steel, well, we probably found out that first, steel is not really a beautiful material for in the cities. And this has changed. But you should know that, that the Eiffel Tower was sold not once, but twice as scrap because people thought it was ugly. Yeah, now, I now imagine. That, yeah, because yeah. people didn't feel it was appropriate to build in steel in, mm -hmm. in the cities. They accepted that the railroad and, and, and the, 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 magazine, the, the, the houses for the railroad was built in steel. They accepted that, et cetera, et cetera, right? But then it comes- They didn't to, like it. No. Now compare with bamboo. Bamboo has problems. Bamboo doesn't survive if it's not protected. But instead of, of saying, hey, let's not use bamboo because it rots directly, it, we can start to learn how to protect it. Mm, we don't absolutely. put bamboo exposed to the to the wind and 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 the, and the water for once. We treat bamboo, and and all of a sudden it passes yeah. as as Efan um, in 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 Bali, one of the, the architects is interviewed. We don't really know how long a a, a proper built bamboo house as can survive because we only done it for maybe 15, 20 years now, right? So well, from Ecuador. On the coast, I've I've seen houses which were over 150 years old, built with bamboo and adobe, which had a roof. So the key there again is what you said before: they need the roof. If they have the roof, they survive earthquakes, they survive uh, the sun and everything. But they need the roof. Yeah. No roof, no more bamboo. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it it takes a, a technique to understand the technology. We need to kind of build differently. And we need to understand how to build differently. I mean, uh, Maritza Cardenas that is interviewed and one of the executive producers to, to, the, to the film often talks about we need to kind of change the way we're building as well. It's not about mm -hmm. just changing the style of, of building. We need to, to, to think differently. Uh, uh, Christoph Krola, which deals with bamboo very differently uh, in, in also talking about we need to kind of Look at how we always do things. That doesn't mean that we need to change everything. It just needs to share. We, we need to understand the material bamboo for what it is, and then mm -hmm. produce buildings after after that. And then I think another myth that I I, I, I know that some people are, are, can be a little offended, but bamboo doesn't need to stand alone. We don't need to have only bamboo houses. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, it doesn't make so much sense because also of the material, of the grass, of the form, of of exactly the properties which are different than what we're used to. I mean, absolutely. Bring bring, bring in ten percent of of bamboo into a concrete house, and you have ten percent better. Uh, uh, I mean, if you start to to look into the energy consumption, and and. Take something that people think for take for granted, wallpapers. Well, wallpapers mm -hmm. is a huge energy consumption because we change them by by every three, three to five years, right? In in mm -hmm. a in some buildings, right? So if yeah. if you if you rethink how you 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 make buildings, so bamboo can kind of fit into, as I see it, fit into to traditional types or, or conventional types of building styles, as well as create its own uh, paradigm in how we build, right? And, and mm -hmm. all of this, we shouldn't frown on one because we're learning from all of this, right? Absolutely, and evolving. I found I found some walls up in Kenya now, in the highlands when we went, and they were part of the video as well, uh, that they claimed in the, in the village, they had been there so much since my father was born, right? And and you can't take that on on uh, face value when you hear somebody in, in the village saying that. But then my my son was baptized in a not in a bamboo shirt but in the in a wood wood mud uh, shirt that we know for sure is over hundred years, right? And, yeah, and it's cool. built in the same technique. Uh, it and and that's just outside Nairobi. And so so these they knew. 
I, I would I, re, I kind of rephrase myself. We learn how to build bamboo because the bamboo that was improperly built is not there anymore. And because of all this trial and error, we now have good examples of bamboo houses that have been stunned, as you said, uh, years and years and years. And go to another industry that was predominantly uh, run by bamboo, the fly fishing industry, right? They, you yeah. can find rods that are 100 plus years as collector's items. Protect a bamboo rod. And you wouldn't really say that uh, fly fishing is treating bamboo with the respect. You, you bring it out to the worst condition, nature and, and water, and, and you yeah. repeatedly bend it over and over again, and they keep doing that, right? Yeah, so, so, true. so I'm not yeah. saying that we can scale up a fly fishing rod and build a building, but there is knowledge to be learned from what we did in fly fishing. Uh, mm. And recently, I, I, I think, I want, and this is the Kraftman, the Japanese bamboo bowl has almost the same kind of, but that's that's even another thousand years of history going back to the industrial product of bamboo, right? So, so, mm, yeah. so we, we can learn from history, but we really also need to say the world is different. We can't, so bamboo, the question we need to ask bamboo, what can you do for me now? Right now, exactly. In this context, in this reality we have today, yeah. And 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 I mean it's uh, and 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 film, an our film tried to do this, not to solve. I mean, I I think you, I, it is a question for you because we have so little reaction for the full movie now. We we getting a reaction for for a full movie, but we're trying to kind of walk a, a thin line between criticize bamboo and the reality of bamboo. And, and hail bamboo at the same time, right? Mm -hmm. and, which, and because which... I, think, I think if you just say bamboo is perfect, you're not going to mm -hmm. get the younger in generation interested because they want to solve problems, right? Uh, that's that's the reality. Most yeah, of course. I mean, and and it, even if it would be perfect, I mean, what's perfect, right? It's always perception, also. So. Um, I think that's also an, not a bad approach, to be honest, um, because nothing is perfect, right? There's always black and white and all that. So it's it, it's um, healthy to really also be critic about um, the the properties, right? Like, like bamboo, um, which, um, I mean, you said has amazing properties, but on the other hand, it's still kind of has also big, big issues. Some are like more in the mindset, other are real like physical issues uh, or just because there, it's not used correctly. I mean, you can build 100% with bamboo, but does it make sense? I would say no from my experience. You probably, I don't know, what would you say, Johan? Well, I, 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 I challenge, the, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take steel and say, where, where did you see 100% steel building? Steel. Well, exactly. It's a ridiculous question. Like, exactly. <laughs> Well, and yeah, I mean, we have the Eiffel Tower, and 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 maybe you know it's because of wood, because we with wood you could do hundred percent wood building. So it's this wood and steel uh, mindset which we're still carrying on, and now we have like bamboo, which is like an another new option right now, <laughs> new right, not at all. But and and the people are like, I could do everything with with wood. Can I do it with bamboo? And, and then it's a wrong question, exactly. Like you said, it shouldn't be the question. The question should be, what is this? How can it use it? And why is it better? And, and where is it better? And where does it does it not make any sense to use it at all? Yeah, because no, it's just not... too much work. There are other materials. I mean, we still have materials to choose off. <laughs> We're slightly running out of raw material. The prices are exploding and all that, but we still have. <laughs> So it's about mixing them. I, I I don't think and and you say we can build a whole building out the wood. They're not going to challenge that because it's going to okay. be very very dark. You can paint it. Well, no, I'm I'm thinking inside, right? Because you 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 forget that no we, windows. We always have glass, right? And yeah, glass the, the sand. Another... And glass is linked to sand, and yeah. sand is everywhere. 
in, in, in all the steel building, all the roads, we have the sand, which is like a huge topic too. I don't know if, if, if you know, but like uh, to use that sand, you need, you need um, river sand. You can't use sand from, from uh, Qatar. <laughs> it, it, it's, all, it's in the end of the movie. We, we are, I'm, saying, okay. I'm standing in the, in the Qatar desert. And, and look at the sun and say we're running out of sun. I mean, so exactly. So we, so so the the issue with, with I think we're facing and and we're into the next kind of is that I think global warming is is and and it's really important to address, but it, it's not the only issue. I mean, yeah. we're, we're running out of environment for for other species. We we, we kill and, an awful lot of us. species. Yeah, yeah. At and, the end, it's for us, right? Yeah, the environment. I mean, if, yeah. if we don't have uh, oxygen, if we don't have water, clean, what are we going to just drink water, water right? all day long? <laughs> we're running out. I mean, we, without scare tactics, we, we're losing soil as well on this planet. Yeah, and I know soil. that you've been been working with the same issues. And and bamboo, bamboo together with other living material can can hinder that soil mm -hmm. drift. For example, look at bamboo could survive in. In all our, uh, in between the highways, we could plant bamboo and it would survive, right? Yeah. We, we and we would lower the temperature, we would regulate the temperature on the highways, which was with the thermal heat from all the, the material there is like crazy. So we could lower that, we could do like natural tunnels, uh, it would be carbon sequestration. I mean, boom. Yeah, yes. so, so we, we should neglect the, the growing property of bamboo as well. Now, you, when you mention this, the next thing that comes in is, of course, it's invasive. And that's knowledge as well. Yes, there is. And I, I'm talking with somebody that, that has experience about how to plant bamboo. Some bamboo is invasive, but not all bamboo is invasive. Some of them right. are really staying in the, they, they're less invasive than bananas. Bananas is actually moving. Uh, they, they, they're drifting with a couple of meters uh, over their lifetime, right? Both but, are grasses. Yeah. <laughs> so so when, once you have a, a clumping bamboo, we don't have the issues. So it must exactly. get knowledge. And enthusiasm yeah. is good, but we have a lot of enthusiasts that have planted the wrong bamboo, have used the yeah. wrong bamboo in construction, and, and also uh, using bamboo wrongly for, for the wrong things. Now, these enthusiasm need to be tapped into because they have done the mistakes, right? Not it's not end of the road; it's the beginning of something. And absolutely. And I think what what you're doing now is 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 a, I mean we need more of, of this. And and this is not to uh, once again I'm not trying to provoke anybody here. I'm not saying that the older generation of bamboo experts and and I'm I'm feeling like I'm a part of the kind of trailblazers here. Although I, I, I know that there's and yet another older generation that that broke ground for us, right? But uh, if if we don't give the problems to the young people, these are the problems. Solve them. Uh, yeah. We we we're gonna repeat our same mistakes for the next generation because bamboo can't be undiscovered. We can we can keep it under the carpet. Say it's it's. It's a traditional plant that did it, uh, it, in, it in, in, in culture that are no more. The next generation is going to find it as we found it and say, wow, this is amazing. What can I do with it and do the same thing? So the more things that we, the more conversation we have, uh, the, the, more, the more we meet and, and also share our, 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 our problems. So, so I, I I had a couple of discussions when we did the movie. Are we too rough against bamboo? Are we, are we, are we <laughs> I imagine because it? it's like it's a, it's a lot of feelings there, right? The people who who like bamboo are like they don't want to talk bad of bad mouth bamboo, right? <laughs> I, I, <laughs> Most don't, of them. I don't think you find people now uh, to criticize your language. Sorry, but that that like bamboo. You have people that doesn't know about bamboo, bamboo, and then you have people that love bamboo, right? And, yeah. and when it's a love affair, which is, is you are very hard, you don't see the, 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 the flaws, right? That's and, true. And, That's true. And, 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 and so the, it is easy to provoke. And it is mm. easy, easy, but at the same token, I, I, I think we need to poke a little bit in this myth. Uh, 
you can't well, buy bamboo and, and, and harvest it in three years. It, 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 you it's know not what I'm saying? But it's not that's, no. Yeah, it's not going to happen. But you know what, Johan, regarding your, your question before? Actually, I know a lot of people who don't like bamboo. It's yeah. all the local people who have bamboo in their backyard and they go like, oh, this is poor man's timber. You know, they don't they really don't like it because they, they believe they truly believe that bamboo is 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 cheap um is cheap is has and is for the poor people who wants to be like labeled as poor nobody you know in our world so th th to iterate there this is interesting because um maybe they don't have the voice they don't have the visibility even less here in europe because we believe bamboo is something amazing beautiful most of us right <laughs> but but there in in most third world countries this is one of the biggest issue. I had my bamboo house there and people were like, why do you have a bamboo house? I like, I love bamboo. Like, but is this for poor people? <laughs> why don't you do a real house, you know, with cement and, and you know, like a real house? I was like, why would I build a bunker? Yeah. I don't want to live in a fucking bunker, yeah. you know? It's like this is a different world, right? So this is interesting too. Maybe, um, or maybe you've thought about it already, but um, it really depends where you come from. What is your reality? Do you have bamboo on on your reach, or do you have to take a plane and 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 sit fifteen hours there and then drive for ten hours and then you're in the bamboo? So it's it's a very different um, reality, right? Um, and and this is um, this is probably something we forget here, the Europeans, Americans, and and all the the first currently first world countries <laughs> that uh, we believe like everything is the same, right? The world is 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 very different. <laughs> so, I mean, you're talking about a couple of things. You're talking about the package uh, of, of things. How do you package things when you sell it? Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and, and and once again, film has a potential to to change uh, the mindset. I, I I don't want to go into too much to to what what because we don't try to do this in the film. We just want to say this is the problem. We're not going to say, well, this is how, how we fix it because mm -hmm. I think all all situations are different. But we are the challenge, I think, to start with. We have not yet seen a bamboo building in one big city uh, to start with, right? Mm -hmm. And we have this tendency to, to look at um, other people for our, our uh, values come not from, from yourself, but from the group. External, yeah. And, and, and that's so good to have a, a, a sociologist and, and a, an anthropologist with me when I write the script, because this is Wearing into their territory. So now we, we interviewed um, marketers uh, and, and, and people that deal deals with that just to understand how this this uh, mechanics works, right? Mm -hmm. and, and you're right. There is a third category. There's not people that doesn't like bamboo. Uh, sorry, uh, the one that doesn't know about bamboo and the, the one that, that loves bamboo, but it, it's people that doesn't like bamboo. And then, yeah. And, and I think this is the only way we can do this is a slow, uh, it's, it's not going to change overnight. You're not going to find, uh, since you're from Switzerland, another Red Bull in a, in a poor country that we can export to the world. Bamboo is not going to be that, that mir miracle drink that can go up and compete to Coca-Cola, but, but, you know, cheaply, yeah. cheaply drinks that we sell with the value, right? But... No, I drink both Coke and, and, and Red Bull, so I shouldn't really talk. But <laughs> uh, what, what I think we can do is to understand that these are, are not non-problems. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. It's like, these are real problems for people. If you don't trust bamboo, don't force a bamboo house on the poor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah exactly. The... And, and that's another issue now, because in, in most third world countries, Normally, if the state gives um, something to the poor, like a house, it's going to be a bamboo house. Mm -hmm. So it's the wrong thing, you know? You, you're exactly doing what they don't, like, um, appreciate. <laughs> you're giving them a bamboo house. 
They don't like bamboo. You're giving it them to the, it's like, guys, wake up, think about it. Yeah, yeah. So, so <laughs> we're, we're, we're coming into, um, I think, land where, where there's not, it's not bad that rich people or, or influential people building bamboo. I mean, they should. They should be the, because that's how you spread things, right? So, so it, it, sometimes it's from about talking about, because I think most of people that work with bamboo come from a very, I mean, they come from a, 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 an acceptance that you've been working in rural area with rural, rural I can't even pronounce it, rural communities. But yeah. so we, we're building in Kenya, we're building our own house there. And, and because we didn't have any bamboo to start with, we, we're building in a local stone. Uh, and now, uh, six years down the line, we started to have bamboo and there was one wall left. So now we're doing a bamboo wall in, from, in, in a guest house from, from the bedroom to the staircase. And the reaction now is not, wow, what a beautiful looking bamboo wall this is. Be because we don't do it as a bamboo wall, we do it as a mall that we're always done in Kenya. We hide the bamboo behind the plaster. And now the reaction for the workers is, wow, this doesn't look like a bamboo wall. And, and, and they go and show each other. And don't, don't diss this because we're going to con concrete and steel again. We're not going to run in the city and say, well, this is a steel building, this is a concrete building, this is a beautiful building, or I don't like this building. Mm -hmm. Steel and concrete is, is invisible. And bamboo, when it we have the biggest success after the first year when we need to prove it and need to expose it, the invisible bamboo house is gonna be where we have the, the most, yes, it's a bamboo house. So what? It could have been a, you know, it's yeah. a good house. Yeah, exactly. And that's that, the point. That's yeah, the that, point. But I mean, that's a success in, in, in a way. It's not the success as a bamboo architect would say success <laughs> or a bamboo engineer would say success, but that's the success of bamboo, I think. And I, I see our time, it, it, it's, it's, it's running, running very out. fast. Yes. So I, I think yeah. that's a very good way to end. If, if, we're, um, if we want to be, have bamboo successful, it needs to be as invisible for, for us as, mm -hmm. as un, uh, lazy people. So it's not a effort to build in bamboo, right? And I think mm -hmm. that's that's where we keep, that where we catch bamboo to make it um, a, a, not a four months timber or a steel a, a vegetable steel, but but a a common building material that everybody understands and can use, right? And the useful one because of its properties. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> I I know I know that that's uh, years to come, but but this is the first success we're going to have is a bamboo house in a bigger city. Mm -hmm. Then maybe then the, the, the poor man's timber discussion start to, to wear off. Say that we get the museum in New York. Mm -hmm. uh, now yes, with bamboo. In yeah. bamboo. And then all of a sudden, we, we, we're not going to see this again, right? That's for sure going to change the perspective uh, of all the Latin American people, because for them, the, the center of the world is still like New York. So um, yeah. This would change for a big chunk of people the reality. <laughs> no, so yeah. I mean, we've been building up this these things about bamboo, looking at bamboo only, but bamboo is in the dialogue, and that's the bamboo dialogues, right? It's with other that's the movies. Yes, other materials with 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 the concept of perception of bamboo. The, what language should we use around bamboo? It's important, but not the only mm. thing. Uh, can it do mm -hmm. what we think it do? That's another thing. And exactly. if we combine these two things con constantly, when we think about bamboo, I think we have a, a bigger chance. Uh, we're not there yet, but it, it, we're it's getting bamboo. there. Yeah. And my last thank you is that bamboo community, if you're not connected to all these beautiful people, and, and uh, I think it's one of the most generous community with knowledge, you can mm -hmm. ask old master of bamboo and they sit down for hours to explain things. You can ask people that just have been working with this 
but they're for three or four days and they, they're still generous with their time and interest. And I think that's that we can build on, that's the momentum we have. And I think a lot of, of yourself included uh, and, and, and our initiative, if it comes together, small rivers make a big creek, right? The game. It's those small creeks that make a big river and, and then all of a sudden you have a flood wave. And, and, and that's what you see in that. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, Johan, let's get this continuing um, talk as soon as we have your second movie um, live again. And maybe we'll show some of the movie. I'll show, uh, I'll, I'll put a movie link of the initial movie in the blog post. So everybody can deep dive into this movie. And um, well, yeah. I should have said this in the beginning. If you want to see this movie and you're part of a bamboo community, we do screenings for you that doesn't break the rules for the film festivals. So please contact me. And uh, we're setting up screenings that we have them in India, there's in, in Kenya, uh, in, in Bari and in Kefra in Kenya, gonna hold one day, we're invited to Rwanda. We, we're talking about with the Colombian Institute right now. We, we have a Brazilian Institute that wants to do this. So, so, so it's, and I don't care if it's four of you in a, in a, in a committee, in a, in a small bamboo community that says that you want to do a screening. We, we're going we're gonna to provide the movie for you if you guarantee that it doesn't spread. Uh, we want it to, to get out, but film festival has these rules. They don't want the film to get out uh, on the internet before we have them in film festival. Film festival is important for us because we get funding if we get uh, appreciation from me, people in the in the, the so people. Absolutely. Otherwise, it had been on YouTube uh, three weeks ago. It, it, <laughs> it is our intention to make this out and open, but we mm -hmm. need to follow the, some of the conventional rules here. Absolutely. Um, well, I'll mention that again. So screenings are possible, but uh, else it's the film festivals, and after that, it'll be on YouTube live for everybody. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. Amazing. Thank, thank you so thank, much. Thank you a lot too, Johan. Talk to you very soon. Take care and okay. a lot of good bamboo vibes there. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>